Okay, so this is just a quick video overview of this schematic that I drew up. Um, this is going to be the, the base unit for the water to hydrogen generator. Um, now, I'm not interested in HHO. I know that uh, hydrogen is actually more proven to run in a vehicle or in a combustion engine than HHO. And one of the things that I've seen a lot of people getting into this whole HHO thing, and it's a terrific it's a terrific guess, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm very excited about some of the potentials of welding and things like that with it, but I don't think it's um, the ideal for running a combustion engine. So um, that being said, uh, whether or not I irritate somebody else for it is irrelevant. Um, this is what I'm interested in. So um, this is a scale-up model of the Hoffman apparatus that I built before in my previous video, and this is where I'm going. As you can see, this is uh, the first prototype is going to basically be a Lexan or plexiglass box. And inside that box is going to be a stack of 50 plates that are bolted together and separated by washers. And another 50 plates that are bolted together and separated by washers on this side. Uh, these little boxes here are just uh, a rail of more plexiglass to hold these plates in place. And this one is to keep it above this line right here which goes almost to the bottom now what this allows is just a just a few inches between these two sets of plates for the electrical um, connection for the conductivity to pass so you've got your reservoir here that's constantly fed and kept full um, then you've got your bubbler basically the gas goes in here and the excess water drips down into this back into the system and then you have the off gas I'm gonna vent this oxygen off here and I'm going to capture this hydrogen this will be the negative side as it says here's the the wire that goes in here on the negative side and that goes into a compressor and I'm thinking along the lines of a small like a refrigerator compressor uh, something like that it doesn't have to be perfect we're not talking high pressure 200 psi or more we're just talking about 50 to 80 psi so I'm gonna take that compressed into this tank to regulate the pressure and then I'm going to a valve that I found online that actually has a little armature with a wheel on the end of it that I can mount underneath a gas pedal to use a gas pedal to control the amount of fuel hydrogen going into the engine so other than that this will be the control fuel and the engine um, the carburetor is just going to basically be left wide open so that it can breathe properly because I was watching a video on running hydrogen in engines and that's what he said was just to leave it wide open and and control the fuel uh, the amount of fuel that comes in with a valve so this is the valve that I found and I'll go into more details on that later um, so this is the system if anybody has um, plates or they have a box or something like this and they want to try this I would love to see somebody else work on it right now I'm waiting for my plates to come in and I just ordered some Lexan so we'll see how that comes in um, now I did see an HHO unit set up on a compressor um, but uh, that's going to be um, that's going to be dangerous. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, pressurizing HHO can be um, dangerous, and and not only that, but it's also very volatile. Um, if you pressurize it, it's likely to revert back to its original state, and that's going to make that tank really hot. Um, when it reverts back, that energy is going to be released. So that's not what I'm interested in. I am interested in hydrogen and pure hydrogen input. Um, I've seen several different videos and also the timing needs to be set so that at top dead center the spark fires so that's the key and that's why things will backfire if you don't have your timing set correctly it will backfire on you like like you see in the um, in the Mythbusters video so this is the unit about 12 inches each one of these plates is 12 by 6 so the box is a total of 20 inches wide 14 inches tall and probably about 14 inches deep because uh, I've got seven plates that takes up almost an inch uh, with the washers that I have separating the plates uh, right now and I'll show a little I'll, I'll add a little clip of video of that and uh, that's it so let me know what you think uh, please rate this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and feel free to comment below thank you